Well, it has been a busy and productive day. We have been prepping to put up our Atlas Budget Plus high tunnel. This has been going on almost a year now. Had some holdups with the city. Had to get some rezoning done. And it has just been one thing after another. That being said, Johnson City has been a pleasure to work with. It's just a long, drawn-out process. And show you where we're at. So, this will be the location of the new greenhouse. Uh, trying to remember exactly. Yeah, I think this should be my corner post that I put in temporarily to mark it. And then we'll walk down here and look at the other corner post. This is a 30 by 72. And as I mentioned, this is an Atlas Budget Plus. Real nice heavy pipes. Um, this is, we spent a little extra on this. So we want something that would last 20 or 30 years. Obviously the plastic won't, but. So here's my other one. And I have removed the other corner post, but we can paste this off. So my other corner should be right about here. So you can see right up there where that corner is. And there'll be another corner right about the edge of this plastic somewhere close. And then there's that corner. So we're looking forward to growing in it. And we have cleared, if you watched our other video, this was all dead pepper plants. We've cleared the pepper plants. We still got some grass and weeds to pull out of here. And here is some of the tubing. Here is some, uh, some of the track for the spring lock. Wiggle wire. That would be the top bar. These are the posts that will go in the ground. And then these are the sides of the hoops. This should be our Perlins the track for the spring lock, and then here is the track for the roll up sides. Braces and brackets. We have steel end walls. We opted to spend the extra for steel end walls. So with our organic certification. With that organic certification, the steel end walls is almost a must. It's not, there's ways to do it, but um, we felt like that would make it a more permanent structure. And we felt like that we could get far more use out of it that way. And we wouldn't have to worry about wood so everything should be here that we need i still got the plastic and the hardware up in the barn so we're looking forward to getting going on this it's a lot of st steel and aluminum And again, it's got to go right here. 
So we'll be putting those ground posts in the ground through here. I know for sure I'm concreting the corner ones in. I haven't decided. I got to do some more checking to decide if I'm going to put the other ones in the ground in concrete or just drive them in. So time will tell. Over there is our farmer's friend behind some weeds and some blackberries. We just started working on that today too. So guys, let me know down in the comments. Give me some questions. Tell me if you've got one. Tell me what brand you've got. Tell me how you like yours. If you've got one of the Atlas ones, I would sure love to hear about it. And we thank y'all for watching this video. Hey. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to us if you would. Um, share this video. Hit that notification button so you can get notified every time we put a video out. And, uh, share it with friends and family. We help us build our little channel here so we can do more for you and show you more. All right. Y'all have a good evening. So... Before I posted this video, I wanted to give you a little update and show you what was going on. We are now January the 5th, I think, and uh, give you a little view of how our garlic is um, progressing. Some of it better than others, but it'll take time. So here we go. So as we can see... The Vietnamese red is just barely growing a little bit. The Kettle River Giant is growing quite a bit. Good growth going on in it. Very little going on on the Armenian. And I can't pronounce that. Echeltum red is doing quite well. The chestnut red is doing okay. It's starting. The Korean red looking pretty good. And I'm not sure. She may have that abbreviated. I'm not sure what that is. But you can see it's coming up and growing. The Georgian fire is starting to come up and grow. So it's looking real good. If you can't see it what I'm showing you. That's the Georgian red. It's coming up all over it. Here's the Spanish Rojo. It's looking good. And uh, should be music. It's looking good. Got several good starts on that. And then the German porcelain is starting to look real good too. So. All right, guys. It is date night. So I'm going to go get cleaned up. It's about 4.30 in the evening. I'm going to go get cleaned up and call it a day. We have worked, worked worked and I'm tired so I hope y'all have a good evening hey like and subscribe we really would appreciate it help us out here ask questions comment down below in the comment section tell us what your favorite garlic is if you've never grown garlic maybe you need to ask some questions anyway thank y'all see ya well guys, me and Tiffany and Alyssa, I hope you can hear this, have been uh, setting up the beginnings of our greenhouse today. We have the four corner posts in. I am on the tractor drilling the side holes. Tiffany and Alyssa are down there getting the line post ready. Gotta put a carriage bolt in there and bend it. We're laying them all out for this side. I gotta get the holes drilled for all of them. Alright. Well, we're gonna get.
get back at it. Just wanted to give you an update uh, on our new tomato greenhouse. This will give us the ability to bring tomatoes to market earlier and more of them. We were already bringing them early, but this gives us the ability to bring more of them to the market. So we're looking forward. See you. Hey guys, it's Steve. I thought I would uh, film you a little update here on our greenhouse. Um, show you what we got going on. I know Tiffany just did a little update on it yesterday. Um, try to take you around and show you a little bit of the details of what we've done and where we're at. So, and I think I will film you a little bit of what I got to do here in a minute. <laughs> so, Spent most of the day yesterday putting on a wiggle wire channel. I am just about done. That's what that is. It takes a while, you gotta cut it. So I've put it around the door opening here on both ends of the tunnel. And I'm currently putting it up where the fan will eventually go. I got two more pieces to install up there, cut and install. And you've got to put the wiggle wire channel over the whole hoop. So over the ends, as you can see, you got to cut it here. Um, I still got to cut this one and finish screwing it down. So this is our double lock channel from Atlas. We've got it installed that's the hat base down there you will see the two tech screws there uses the larger of the two tech screws there anywhere that is structural uses the large tech screws they do not tell you that in their book but the structural spots uses the large tech screws and then the smaller tech screws go in the wiggle wire channel and then we got stainless steel bolts at each of the bows. And that's for bolting up the guide for the roll up curtain. We have a door insulated that'll be going on the end down here. We have that all framed out. You'll see where we use the smaller tech screws to install this. Now I made one error when putting this up and we're going to correct it. It's no big deal, but this pipe can't go there. We're going to drop it down here to about this spot. I got it correct on the other end, but this end it's turned out in the wrong spot. And the reason it's in the wrong spot is we're missing some clamps that go on the corners, but there's a clamp that has to attach around where this bolt is. Right here. And go around this hoop bow. And we don't can't do it with that there. So we're gonna move move that and take care of that problem. I will probably simply move this brace to the top side that or i'll just lower it down one or the other i ain't decided you'll see we got the wire lock on the bottom down here and on this side of the door across the top and down that side of our roll-up doors that's where the roll-up doors will go now you'll see here the larger tech screws holding the brackets in because again that is structural and these brackets are holding our two inch by two inch steel tubing now this uh double lock channel goes on with a clamp and i got to come back through the guys didn't put the screws in this yesterday i have to come back through no big deal and put some tech screws in here i had a couple of guys working on this side and they just forgot i'll put the tech screws in this but they uh, use stainless steel bolts and nuts, galvanized clamp, and attach it right to the 
post. And one of those will go at every one. To join these together, um, we they come with this uh, aluminum bracket, stainless steel bolts and nuts again. Tighten that down. And you cut one foot off of your first piece. And the reason for that is so that it doesn't end up with this in the middle of a bow. You don't want that here because you can't join it together. So you gotta make sure it stays offset because some of these, like this one right here, this is the one that would have been a problem. This would have ended up here if we hadn't cut a foot off the first one. So, easy to do. Uh, this is part of our curtain pocket. Gonna hopefully try to get started on that today. If not, Saturday. You'll see all these joined together down through here. Looking good. And this uh, hat base has a swelled spot. The instructions fail to tell you this but they're swelled right here so that they'll cap over each other easier here and then you use a tech screw to hold it in place so and these are the guides for the curtain they'll attach up there with that stainless steel bolt and a nut will go on it and then you put you drill a hole and put stainless steel nut and bolt at the bottom but we're not ready for that yet because we still haven't hung the curtain uh, we're hoping this evening to get the piece of plastic on this end. And possibly the other end, but I'm not seeing it. We're both kind of tired. We don't have no help available today. And we're just exhausted. So. If you look up here at the top... You will see how it attaches. Those are clamps. And then those upright posts there have a welded tab on top of them. So. All right, I am going to let you watch a video while I cut the rest of the pieces that go up there and get that took care of. So, here we go. So, I take a file and file off the rough edges after I cut each piece to help keep it from cutting the plastic.
So there we are. That's how we put the tech screws in that attach the wiggle wire channel. And that specifically is around where our fan's going to be. We've done put that in with a rough opening size. The rough opening means that's the size they tell you to leave inside to inside for the size fan we're going to use. We done spoke to Atlas about it. And they to told us what it needed to be. And it's also in the book that we have also. But we double checked with them just to make sure. So we were, we're already roughing that in, even though we're not installing a fan now, we will install a fan later. But later, if we go ahead and do all of this, then all we got to do is come back and cut the plastic. Now this greenhouse is not going to be heated. If we use any heat in it, it'll just be a little bit of supplemental heat, like from a propane heater. Uh, just something that'll be there in case we have unexpected really cold nights. So what I'm trying to say is we're not going to start our crops in there extremely early for now this will be our tomato house um, and we'll probably grow a few other things in it too but it's going to be tomatoes primarily there'll be pe uh, sweet peppers on one side i do know that for sure now when we get our next tunnel it's going to go probably right about where i'm standing it'll be probably the same size as that one and when we get our next one it will become the tomato greenhouse and it will be a double wall poly, so we won't do roll up sides on it. We'll just do ventilation fans and uh, possibly even do a water climate control system in it so that we can keep the temperature down in there. So uh, I have got to get plastic ready and get going. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to cut the plastic for the end walls. They send it to you in one piece and you've got to cut it into two pieces. So you fold it uh, long ways. So the side that's the longest, ours was actually 39 and a half feet. They tell you it's supposed to be like 37 feet. Ours is 39 and a half, so we're going to cut it right in the middle. And so that'll leave us about a 19 foot piece going one way, and it's going to leave us uh, about a 32 foot piece going the other way. So that's what we need to make this work. So here we go. Look, Tiffany's holding the plastic. Now we're gonna use just a utility knife to do this. I put a fresh razor blade in it so it'll work better.
Okay, so all I did is took the razor knife, as you saw, across the edge. I had Tiffany hold that corner so it would keep a little tension on it, which will make it easier to cut. And so that's what I did, cut across it. So now we're going to move our blocks we got holding the plastic down to the lower piece of plastic so we can remove the upper piece and install it. Okay, I'm going to let y'all watch while we uh, set up the plastic. Okay, Daniel, come. Go to mommy's side. Yeah. Yeah. 
what is mommy doing? What? What is mommy doing? What? Is she laying on the ground? How can it be worse? Her tie. That man. down there? Huh? Yes. Can we pull tighter? I think it's about as tight as it would probably go. Good? Yes. Through my eyes, I can't see nothing. How come I don't think it looked good since I just pulled slack? Well, apparently the wind was blowing then because it, it looked like it was really hot.
throw the ladder. On this left side, I know, it looks like now there's just a little bit of slack in the... There is. Yeah. Yeah,
Oh, okay. You look
Well, this is a good news, bad news kind of situation. Good news is we almost have all the plastic on this end of the tunnel. Bad news is I don't think we got it recorded. If we did, it shut off during the recording. I have got to go back and check footage. I won't be able to answer that question. But regardless, we'll let you see it when we do the other end of the tunnel. We'll try to make sure we're ready for it and get it there if we don't get this end. Um, but I'll turn you around and let you look at what we got. Tiffany can go over there and show you what's going on. All right, guys. You can see we got plastic on this end. Yeah, see Vanna, I mean Tiffany. Um, we still got to put the wiggle wire around the door and around the fan. Yep, see, see, Tiffany's showing you. But now what I want you to notice on Tiffany is this silly smile that she can't get rid of because her greenhouse is getting close to being done. Tell them, Tiffany, how happy you are. I am ecstatic. Tell them how tired you are. Beyond. It's a long time before springtime's over, ain't it? And yeah. we got a lot to do. Planting a lot more greenhouse. All right, guys. We're going to get this finished up so we can call it a day. And we'll try to be sure to get the footage if it didn't record on the other end. Take care. God bless you.